The Levitate project is a collaboration between artists and engineers. However, um, the process is more important than the outcome. So um, really it's about exploration, asking people questions, uh, listening to new ideas and uh, documenting those ideas to, to show good practice. I'm Sri Subramanian, I'm a professor here at the University of Sussex and I'm uh, involved in um, looking at different ways of uh, improving the acoustic levitation hardware and software so we can create more interactive experiences for people. This is you know, one of these rare opportunities to meet people from different backgrounds than ourselves. So, a lot of what we do is very sort of pragmatic and engineering focused, so we tend to not be very good at thinking outside the box. So I think that was one of the best things was just meeting people who don't really understand the technology that much. Their ideas about how to actually use it and play around with it is, you know, it's given us lots of new ways of thinking about it. We've got artists from a range of backgrounds, so I've got musicians, uh, we've got graphic designers, we've got fine artists, we've got people that have already interested in working with technology. Um, so the people that are uh, here have got some experience of, of working with sort of technology in their art. Uh, my name's George Butler, I uh, run Mutiny Media. Uh, I've done a lot of participatory video and art projects in, in the past uh, and now based at Fusebox in Brighton, which is an immersive lab uh, researching VR, AR and other ideas. The technology is not the most important thing. It's more about the, the idea generation and trying to think outside the box um, and help engineers imagine new possibilities for the, for the technology. One reason why it's good to have hands-on experience like this is you really need to see stuff in action to, before you can really get a sense of what you could do with it. There was a lot of stuff which came up yesterday. One is we realised just how important the design, design aspects of it were. And that's, you have to really see these things and play with them. When you've got a new medium, you, play is a really important part of it. The experience today and yesterday was amazing because we had about 20 people in the same room. An equal balance, about 12 people from, who were artists and about 8 engineers. And kind of smashing their brains together, trying to figure out new ways of interacting with this levitating display. Uh, so we came up with so many ideas. I really like the way that we could kind of think of the whole narrative around levitating displays. So not just what most of us from engineering like to think about how do we, you know, tinker with the device, how do we make it work and how do we make it better, but actually expanding this uh, into applications which are beyond um, just the scientific component and making it more artistic and relevant to the world and kind of connecting it with events in the world outside um, or just art for the sake of art. I've kind of seen this technology before and it's kind of interesting to see it again and it's interesting to have more artists around it and to start hearing their ideas uh, and you know, similar ideas that I've had about kind of you know, having letters and uh, and stuff, and other interesting ideas about projecting to make the what, what you're seeing larger, uh, and also understanding the tech a lot more, so that it is a consistent wave of sound. It's not kind of move, you don't alter the sound waves to to make the balls move. So that's interesting. So yeah, kind of getting an idea on how I might apply some. I, did too. I was wondering how a sort of visual graphic equalizer would look, how to basically translate musical frequencies into a graphical way and how could this be done because those balls are obviously you could have it on the screen but the whole thing about those balls is that they are sort of physical and uh, sculptural and 3D and very and the movement is quite elegant so you can just observe the movement and have something simple just to perhaps illustrate uh, music frequencies I mean, from my experience of having done art and science things before, it's quite important that uh, the art and science are both on a level. It shouldn't be, I think where these things can go a bit kind of wrong can be where um, people are just expecting artists to popularise some aspect of science or something, or to illustrate it or to be an advert for it. And it's much better to just allow people to have a free reign as has been done on this weekend. So.